mentally and physically. Virgilix, uh, that was non-consensual loss. <laughs> Uh, what's up, man? I don't think I've, uh, I think I've seen your name in the, uh, chat before, but I don't think you've ever, uh, sent us a, a message in chat, but, uh, thanks for stopping by, man. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, that was, uh, that was very uncool. That was, that was extreme levels of bad. Uh, that was the most optimal form of of death rattle I mean he had it all yeah I'm trying to learn the game so I'm pursuing perusing perusing was that a typo, or do I just not know how to read? Uh, either way, thanks for stopping by, man. Uh, yeah, that's what we're trying to do here. I try to uh, really outline what I'm doing it as I'm doing it. That's actually uh, that's why I made the title of the stream what it is, man. Uh, how to play Hearthstone Battlegrounds. So, uh, yeah, I mean, since you said that, I'll uh, you know keep on keeping on with what I've been saying, but. You know, the basic basics, since you said you're very fresh, turn one, buy something that has the best stats that you're given. Uh, your best turn one buys are Rock Pull Hunter, Vulgar Homunculus, or one of the uh, tokens, either the uh, Alley Cat or the Murloc Tide Hunter. Turn two, always level. Those are, uh, those are the, the base rules. Uh, there are exceptions to rules, as always, though. But... For instance, Rafam on turn two usually does not level because then it steals something if it uses its hero power. And uh, Daryl sometimes doesn't level on turn two just to uh, buy a second token, something like that. So, But yeah, I'll keep on keeping on with uh, explaining why I'm doing what. Appreciate it. Of course, man. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make it a, a lot more of a educational. So, uh, right here in this situation, we hero powered. It gives us a good opportunity to uh, get a win next round since we've taken some damage. The Overseer is really good with the uh, early Void Walker. It's uh, some of the most stats you can have this early in the game. This is the uh, earliest plus two, plus two you can buy, so it's really strong. All right, so getting that down there. Now, see, that getting buffed up to six is really bad. Uh, we don't even kill either of them there. Okay. So, see, he bought two things, which made for a much stronger board, and the homunculus plus the overseer is the strongest early game combo. All right, so it's turn six. So here we're going to buy two things. Uh, I don't really like anything on this board particularly. Uh, I think I will buy the uh, Mounted Raptor, though, and the Murloc Tide Hunter. They are the least bad of our options given here. Uh, we're going up against Rat King. We haven't played him. He beat Daryl. He lost to Lich King, so not surprisingly. Uh, I don't think I sell to use Hero Power here. I think just having uh, the most minions on board is probably the uh, best route to take. All right, so that's pretty good. Pretty good attack order so far. All right. Okay, so we tie here. All right, so we're always happy to see a tie. All right, so this is all uh, pretty good. Haven't really played any Battlegrounds, so this is super interesting. Yeah, man, uh, it's uh, my favorite game mode at the moment. 
usually we'd level here on seven gold we usually level i'm uh considering not leveling though just because the stuff presented to us is pretty powerful i don't think it's powerful enough though uh leveling so tavern tearing up so we we tiered up gets us to three stars and I'm using a Hearthstone deck tracker. You wouldn't see this in a regular game unless you have deck tracker on, but tearing up. So now the pull that we were looking at before at two stars is here. And now we're at three stars. So this is potential cards. So everything from three, two, and one are potential cards that we can buy next round. So all right, that was kind of bad. Yeah, with that uh, that one drop. Yeah, we didn't stand a chance this round. <sighs> We're farming Murlocs, man. Yeah, so now we're at three stars. We have eight gold to buy with. Uh, none of these are really good for the situation we're in right now. So we're going to roll again. Here we go. Okay, so we got a triple. All right, so here we go. Tripling, Vig. So if you have three of the same minions, they combine together into one with a uh, better stats. All the stats previously held on the two that were already on your board are kept, and the uh, ability of it is also increased. And you get to discover a minion that is a tier higher than you currently are. I'm doing my best to explain, but also trying to uh, play well. And that goes for any three minions of the same type. Yes, any three minions. Any three minions whatsoever. And it's displayed uh, by the little, uh, by the middle of those three icons there. There's the, the stars. Then the uh, three cards with an up arrow, and then the little fire. The three cards with the up arrow uh, signifies triples. The fire signify wins. So you get any three minions of the same type. And sorry if we're going kind of fast. I'm trying to uh, explain as I go, obviously, but uh, time is a factor. So I'll, I'll do my best to... Uh, to keep up with uh, explaining and buying and selling and whatnot, but and uh, yeah, you said you're very fresh. So, I mean, so all uh, your first minion they they attack sequentially, and then. Uh, same and then like just like in a standard you know you can't you can't get past taunts until they're dead so with the exception of one card but nice get the buff on that that's unfortunate doesn't die though. Perfect. That's a lot of damage for him to take. Alright, so we're looking pretty good here. Uh, I think we can level up now. Alright, we only have one mech. Metal Tooth, Psychotron, so we really want a hero power. But I also want to buy something. This is tough. That's that's pretty good. I really do want a hero power though. Uh, I think getting rid of this is honestly fine right now. A 
What are the odds that he has his own cleave? Probably pretty low. Okay, so that's a 3-5. That's really big right now. Nice. Perfect. And I think he's dead. Yep, he's dead. Good. His board was fairly strong. We wouldn't have wanted to hit him to uh, keep going. Okay, so he's eliminated. Alright, we want the Cobalt. Let's go one, two, three, roll once. We were really hoping to see a mech. Kaboombot's pretty good. Uh, so we will freeze that for next turn. And we'll... Daryl's at three, no triple, so we don't have to worry about a cleave. So we'll uh, move that up. We will worry about divine shields. Uh, yeah, though, uh, Vig, uh, I'll be honest, uh, watching streams of Battlegrounds is probably the best way to uh, get better, so... I watched uh, many, 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 many hours before I started actually playing myself, so you're uh, on the right path for sure. Because uh, I did not do the uh, pre-order for the last expansion, so I was unable to actually play myself. So instead I just watched a, a ton of streams to uh, prep for when I was actually eligible and it was extremely helpful. So I think we're going to sell this. Do we sell the spawn? This isn't like end all be all. Excuse me. Oh, the, the leapers are actually good now. Good roll. Very good roll decision right there. Uh, yeah, there's only so much that you can learn by playing. Gotta watch the, uh, the adepts do it. The adepts? You're using some terminology that I'm not familiar with, bud. actually amazing. I've never heard of that word before, and I had to look it up. And I like that word. Adept. Adept. Adepts. A person who is skilled or proficient at something. I really like that word, man. Thank you for, uh, for, uh, teaching me a new word, bud. I really like that word. Uh, glad I could uh, put it out there. Yeah, man. I, I had never heard of that before, honestly.
but uh, I quite like it. I think that positioning's okay. I should have still kept the cleave first, but uh, I kind of like it being in the middle. Ah, oh, come on. That was very good. That was not, but uh, at least he did not get a uh, third Divine Shield. Well, he won five in a row, and he's not winning this one. We are looking very strong now. Okay. We should be able to get an elimination here as well. Uh, I will buy the Hydra in the very off chance that we can triple it. Almost rolled again. That would have been bad. Uh, yeah, man, thanks for hanging out, though. It's a, it's a pretty chill stream between uh, the regular viewers that we have here. Uh, a lot of them are uh, watching from work, so uh, there's not a lot of activity in the chat during uh, this particular time. Uh, it usually picks up within the next uh, hour or so. But uh, yeah, we're a nice chill stream. We uh, pretty much strictly play Battlegrounds. Uh, I mix in a little standard whenever I'm uh, feeling up to it, so... Yeah, but if you're enjoying it, uh, if you want to drop a follow, we always appreciate that. We're trying to uh, grow the stream and, and build something here, so always appreciate the, uh, the follows on uh, all the different platforms. It goes a long way towards uh, helping build everything, so... I'll probably be lurking on and off here at work as well. Okay, no worries, bud. Battlegrounds is a ton of fun, which you understand, and I prefer it to standard. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, if you're, uh, big, if you're liking the stream, though, uh, hey, thanks for the follow, man. Yeah, if you're liking it, though, uh, got the YouTube as well. Uh, I post all of the, uh, really kind of crazy games. The, a lot of the wins go up there. It is definitely more fun to watch, in my opinion, as well, yes. Uh, yeah, we post all the wins over on the YouTube, though. It's uh, it's linked below. So if that's something you're interested in as well, you can pop over there. Man, I really overvalue Bolvar. I'm like so close to uh to freezing this board. Yeah, it's it's a lot more fun to watch. It's just so fast paced and uh just interesting overall. Alright, well that kinda sucks. Bolvar outplayed. That was literally the worst attack. Doesn't look like it's going to matter, though. That was really good. We just got to pop his Divine Shield before he pops ours. Fuck. Oh, come on, bro. Triple crowd favorite, 2020. Okay. Did we beat him? Nine turns ago. Three games in a row. He tied Rat King. So he's like right on par with our power level. I think we gotta do some maneuvering.
we got to uh, we got to over invest in uh, the current board to uh, have a chance at winning here. All right, we uh, we went all in just at a, at a for a chance at the title. Okay, we went all in here. Hero powered, buffed the cleave up as much as possible, sold off all our triple opportunities because I really don't want to lose this uh, this round here. So we went for it, and uh, that looked like it paid off. Honestly, we got rid of his uh, his double death rattle. Okay, so far so good. Honestly, I think that was the right line, and I think it's going to win us the game. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, sometimes you really just have to go for it like that. You have to, you have to extremely overinvest. Because uh, that was the difference at a at a second or a third place, and now we have a shot at first place. So it was a. Uh, most definitely worth it there. This is not valuable to us right now, although it might be. If we can triple the boulevard, potentially find a uh, an egg. Doesn't look like it's going to happen though. Wow, those are some god awful rolls. All right, so the last time that we played against him, oh, and again, if you want to get into this game mode, get Deck Tracker, because this will be the difference between uh, winning and losing sometimes, because you're not going to be able to remember what your opponent's board was. So he has a Zap. So his Zap is going to break both Divine Shields on the Bolvar now, instead of just killing one of them. Very important. Very, very important. He also has a cleave and a mechano egg and then a giant crowd favorite. The crowd favorite was the only reason that we lost, okay? Our power level has really increased since then. We have our uh, hero power on. We have our positioning down. I think maybe that is the only change I want to make. But now his zap does not kill anything. It just hits both boulevards. So very, very important here. It actually could have killed one of them, but it did not, so. All right, he's uh, lost pretty much every opportunity he has for uh, for re-upping his Divine Shields. He might get one re-up on the shields. Okay, so he's going to get one up on that one. So if we could uh, ping it off, that was very important. That's bad for us. Okay, but that's good, and we re-up our shield, so we win. Good, 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 good. Now, it's going to take quite a few turns uh, at this pace, but we have time to find triples and such to uh, increase our power level here. Uh, so I'm going to buy another Kaboom Bot. Uh, we're going to level to 5 because it was almost free. Quite frankly, we've been uh, down here for too long. Uh, is Battlemaster ever actually worth 1912 and a 2424? I don't think so. We really need to, uh, alright, so there's a Mechano Egg. And a, uh, Psychotron. So I think we're going to sell this buff here and buff here and I'm going to play and sell two bombs we're going to give up on the triple on the bombs buy the psychotron play the hero power and freeze for the egg now we have uh, triple opportunities on Bolvar, psychotron and cobalt 
and I think we uh, move these to the end of the attack order. Wow, that's actually huge. And it didn't die. Keeping uh, the Divine Shields on the Bulvars is massive. I don't think we can do 17 damage, but he takes a lot more than he, uh, he would have otherwise. Yeah, see, that's huge, being able to break those shields. That was also really big. Yeah, so we deal a fair amount more damage here. Wow, so attack order is super key. Alright, so we're 100% hero powering. Let's do that before we make some kind of massive mistake and forget to do it. Uh, I'm going to roll past this. It's going to look crazy, but we, uh, we're we only looking for a triple right now to, uh, to increase our strategy, so... does not look like we're going to find it. Uh, and I am thinking about selling the Psychotron and playing a Leaper, but uh, I don't think it's powerful enough. I think the plus four, plus four attack on the, uh, on the Bulvars is too strong right now. Yeah, and we can't triple the Cobalt. That's just ludicrous yep so we're just gonna uh, we're just gonna try to beat him the same way we did last turn also one of my top performing YouTube videos is uh, bots and Bolvar because I think that this is a uh, underutilized and very powerful uh, strategy. So can we get the first attack? He gets the first attack, but we're going to... Oh, we missed! That's big bad. Okay, well it dies. That doesn't die, but now it dies. We get our Divine Shields back. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty decent chance that we lose this. Yeah, we needed that to not happen. Okay, none of these 1-1s can hit our Divine Shield. Alright, we actually win. Okay. All right. Uh, that was a little bit of luck, but not a ton. He had a really strong play moving that cleave into the first position. <laughs> 